This video is going to show you how to use Zapier and our live image editing feature. So live image editing allows you to edit um, the text inside of images um, on the fly. So this can be done through an API, um, but we've also made it very easy by using Zapier, which has connection to 750 different apps. So I'm going to start by positioning my text exactly where I want it. And in this example, I'm going to have a mountain forecast that's going to update daily. And it's going to maybe go out to all my subscribers just to let them know how the um, weather is each day. Um, once I save that, I'm going to um, copy the image URL. So I'm going to copy it just to the equal sign and store that because that's going to be needed inside of Zapier. So currently Nifty Images is in beta mode with Zapier. So you'll need to click on the link um, below this video um, and also on our website. And that'll take you here, which is a formal invite um, to the Nifty Image Zap. Now I'll click the Accept Invite and Build Zap button to get started here. So my first zap, I'll go create this zap. But unfortunately, Nifty Images um, is not a trigger. So I'll click on the left side here and what I'll do is actually go down to weather because I want this to be my trigger. And the information I want is today's forecast. So I'll hit save and continue. And then here it gives me an option to look up uh, longitude, latitude for location. Now I've already done that for South Lake Tahoe, which is a skiing resort. So I'm going to go and put those coordinates in and hit continue. It will then go verify, I hit fetch and continue. And you can see that this test was successful. So now I'll click on continue. And here I can go to the next step, which is adding nifty images into the mix. So I want to update the image text um, with that information I get from the weather trigger. So I hit save and continue. I go to connect an account. And to connect that account, I need an API key. So within nifty images, you can go to my API keys where you can easily create one. Um, and paste that into um, the Zapier pop-up. Once that connects inside of Zapier, you can hit save and continue. Um, it's going to ask you um, what image text do you want to put into this image. And here's where we'll load the information from the weather. So I want to do a summary. So each day there's going to be a summary updated to this image. And I'll paste in the image URL, which we got earlier from inside of Nifty Images, and hit the continue button. So you can see an example there, what it's going to show. And I can hit Create and Continue. Test was successful, so I can see that data has been successfully pushed um, into the image text, and I can hit Finish. Now ready to turn on my Zap, and this is going to automatically update. Um, I believe the weather updates once a day, um, but Zapier has a lot of different options for this that you can look at, including updating more frequently um, and adding more steps into your Zap. So to do a quick test, I will load that image that we made earlier, and I can see today's mountain forecast uh, clear throughout the day. Um, so once again, this will update um, once a day, and I can have this as an automated email that goes out and never have to touch it again. Um, this was a quick example to show you how Nifty Images and Zapier uh, work together, but there's a ton of different options with Zapier. Over 750 apps um, are connected to them. So you can pull sales data or donation numbers from a Google uh, Sheet, um, you can pull results from SurveyMonkey. You can show the amount of savings that customers have made from a sale using Magento or Shopify. Um, new posts um, to WordPress can be um, pushed over. Um, so quite a bit. Um, reach out to us if you have any questions or need help working with Zapier. Um, be, be sure to click the link below or go to our website to get the uh, formal access um, to the beta.